Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how you can easily check your serotonin, dopamine levels, and if they're low, supplement them so that they increase. And why this is a terrible idea. So often when I have downtime and I'm thinking about, you know, what I should be talking about on this channel or I want to like anonymously interact with somebody with insomnia, then uh, I go on Reddit, which is this like huge messenger board with the very active insomnia community. And uh, was it yesterday or the day before that, I came across this post that I want to read to you and it, it got me thinking about a whole bunch of things I think is really really interesting a little bit sad too but uh, anyway before I say anything further let's get right into it so title a potentially life-changing test I'm just gonna read the whole thing so I ordered a brain balanced urine test from wellness city I just got my results back and wowzer I am really low in a lot of neurotransmitters like serotonin, dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine, they recommend which supplements to take. Neurotransmitters play a huge role in sleep issues. I also have adrenal fatigue, causing my cortisol to be high at night and low all day. And I've always had depression and anxiety. Just a suggestion for anyone struggling, even when following all the sleep hygiene suggestions floating around. I am planning to take the supplements, not buying them from Melissa, buying them from Amazon, for much less dollars, and I can report back later on if they help. So the first thing that came to my mind when I was reading this was, these are the exact you know thoughts that so many of my patients have that I see in clinic. They're thinking, maybe I'm low in serotonin, maybe my cortisol levels are high, you know, with the implication then that if I would just know which of these like neurotransmitters are low or high then I could take the right you know, supplement or medication to balance that out so I could sleep. And, and, I, that, and, and you know, with that in my mind, when I was reading this, I felt like, oh my gosh, this, this test is kind of, in a way it's like brilliant. It's exactly what millions of people with, with insomnia want. Uh, but at the same time, I felt like either, either the people doing this truly believe that they can help people by finding out what they're low in and like helping them supplement but I can't help but think that it's a little bit cynical like you're you're selling people this hope that if they can just find um, what they're low in they can supplement that and they can sleep better but but do you really believe in it because personally I don't you know many people with insomnia for sure have low serotonin levels or high cortisol levels no question about that but that is you know a symptom rather than a cause meaning the root cause for insomnia almost always is some type of like sometimes like worry something that's stressing some type of anxiety which is then the cause for like this change in neurotransmitters and if you see that your cortisol levels, cortisol levels are high and you should take this supplement, you know, is it gonna help you? Probably not. And uh, I, I wanna say this, that if I'm wrong, if you can really just check what neurotransmitter you're low on, take a supplement and sleep better, that's fantastic, you know? And I'll come back here in a year or two or five and say, you know what, I was totally wrong. There was a simple, easy, straightforward solution to insomnia and now insomnia has been eradicated and that's fantastic, and I'm gonna close this channel and move on to greater things, but I don't think it's not gonna happen. Uh, and, I, and in fact, I feel like this, and why I feel this is a terrible idea to do this if you have chronic insomnia, is that it takes you further down the rabbit hole. You know, you've tried, you know, you try sleep hygiene, you try supplements, you try, uh, you know, um, you know meditation apps you tried uh, you know calming sounds all that all that stuff and and now you're trying this and then you see that your serotonin levels are low you're taking this you know this supplement you retake the test they're still low you take another supplement now your norepinephrine is low now you, you know it, it just like 
I, I think it just creates more anxiety, frustration. It doesn't deal with the root cause of insomnia. So the bad news is, I don't think this is the solution for insomnia. Uh, but the good news is, as always, chances are that you have not tried the most effective way to treat insomnia, which is cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, it, it's not easy. It's not easy to do CBT, but it can be really effective. Again, yeah, not for everyone. Not every single person who does CBT is going to be uh, sleeping better, um, but the vast majority will. So um, if you have insomnia, please explore cognitive behavioral therapy. You can um, check out all the videos really here are about CBT in one way or another. I really want to point to you to, you know, number insomnia site number one on bedtime restriction. There's a follow up uh, at episode 14 and then 21 as well. And episode five is good too, stimulus control. But really, any way you can learn about and try cognitive behavioral therapy with insomnia, do it. That gives you a better chance of sleeping better than anything else. Thank you for watching this and I hope to see you back here very soon. Bye now.